perform quantitative risk analysis. In the previous section we learned about qualitative risk analysis. This section is about quantitative analysis. What is the difference? Don't be discouraged if you don't know. Many people get confused between qualitative and quantitative risk analysis. Here is the difference. Qualitative risk analysis is a subjective evaluation, even if we use numbers for rating. In contrast, quantitative risk analysis is a more objective numerical evaluation, which is calculated and measured in terms of the effect on project objectives. For example, qualitative risk analysis says that the final rating for the risk is 45% and quantitative risk analysis says that this risk has $20,000 negative impact on costs. That's the difference. In order to calculate it, we have to do a numerical analysis of the probability and impact and look at how risks affect the objectives of the project. The purpose of quantitative risk analysis is to identify which risk events warrant a response and uh, which risks require most attention to determine overall project risk, which is called risk exposure, to determine the quantified probability of meeting project objectives. For example, what is the probability that we complete the project within eight months or within half million dollars? Quantitative risk analysis enables you to calculate the realistic and achievable cost, schedule and scope targets. And finally, you can calculate the amounts of cost and schedule reserves which are required to meet those targets. One more thing that you have to know about risk analysis is that we always do qualitative risk analysis, but quantitative risk analysis sometimes may be skipped and you can go directly to the risk response planning. It can be skipped for the whole project or for some specified risks. Quantitative risk analysis should be done only when there is a sense of doing it, when it is worth the time and money. For sure, it shouldn't be done for risks with a low priority and also for risks requiring urgent response. Additionally, there can be some cases when there is no sufficient data to do the quantitative analysis. In the next lectures, we will go through the inputs, outputs and tools and techniques of the quantitative risk analysis.